Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told. Tarot, this is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for April 2021 for the sign of Scorpio. So let's pull your first card. I'm going to pull a few oracle cards. Remember these are primarily messages or advice and uh, it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you Scorpio. Okay, let's just shuffle one more time. So I'll pull a few oracle cards and then we will go into the tarot cards. Okay, your cards have fallen out actually. So let's go with this. We have trust the divine plan. It's interesting because you might be, you might be working to some kind of plan here. Build on solid ground. This is about getting stable foundations, setting yourself up for future growth, putting uh, your energy into what is going to bring growth, not something that is going to bring lack or instability. I also have to say, Scorpio, I mean, that, that might translate for you in terms of building something to a plan. I mean... <laughs> Sometimes these can be just very literal meanings. Um, it means different things to different people. So let's see what we get. Those are the messages regardless. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Scorpios. Thank you. April 2021, message for Scorpio. Thank you. I've got trust again. So while your logical mind is dictating a supposedly clear direction, your soul's inner guidance is urging you to follow an alternative path. The logical path may be one that you consider safe and more familiar, but you could be missing out on boundless opportunities and so much more. So the divine plan is, is your intuition, where your intuition leads you, what feels right. And our gut reaction is our intuition. It stays with us. It doesn't change. Okay. Message for Scorpio, please. We have number eight. Channel your knowledge, critical judgment. Again, it's making some kind of critical judgment, decision. Your wisdom, your knowledge. Um... It feels like divine, it feels more kind of like illumination from divine energy as well. Wisdom, knowledge from divine energy. It definitely feels in this energy helping you make some kind of critical judgment, maybe your decision. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Again, it's that intuitive energy that I'm feeling quite strong. I've got three cards here that literally just fell out. So I've got the Raven, Prepare for Change, Archangels, Azriel, and Bokpi. Again, this wisdom. Bear, use power with wisdom. And it feels like this divine answers, you're being given answers, guidance. Archangels, Uriel and Jophiel. Rhinoceros, be strong and courageous. Archangels, Sandalphon and Rockiel. Okay, let's pull some cards, see what we get. Message for Scorpio, please. Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Scorpios. Message for Scorpio, please. So I'm going to pull three cards, Scorpio. Let's see what we have for you. Message for Scorpio. 
April 2021. First card being the message from Spirit. So we have the Six of Cups. What it pertains to, we have the Two of Pentacles. And the Four of Wands, bottom of the deck, Scorpio, again, Intuitive Energy, the High Priestess. I'm going to pull another one for the Six of Cups. Can we, can we pull another card for the Six of Cups, please, for Scorpio? Thank you. another card for the Six of Cups for Scorpio, please. Thank you. Ten of Wands. And there's Two of Pentacles. Let's pull another card for this Two of Pentacles, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. There's too many there. Okay, so I've got the ones that have turned on the table. We have, okay, I've got the lovers reversed. <laughs> Fell out reverse, so let's go with that. And we have the page of cups. Uh, you know, Scorpio, someone is back. I mean, six of cups is Scorpio energy. Somebody is back. Um, and it's somebody that you've got history with and it feels like it was a burden. I mean, it definitely feels in this situation that somebody from the back is returning somebody that you've got history with. And that's the message from Spirit. There's definitely an opportunity to release burdens with the Ten. A Ten is a completion. Uh, but it, it feels in this situation... I'm definitely getting this energy of someone being back. What it pertains to, I mean, it's reconnecting from somebody from the past. And you just, you're kind of like, will I, won't I, do I, don't I? Oh my goodness, this is throwing me off my guard. It's, you know, knocking me off my balance. <laughs> I definitely get this kind of energy, Scorpio, of... Uh, it's a choice, you know, it can be a choice. I mean, you know, the two of coins can still be a choice between two paths, two routes. Um, but it feels like it's thrown you and you're just kind of like, what do I want to do? Do I, don't I, will I, won't I? And you're just kind of like juggling it around in your head because they're offering love, romance, relationship. There's a kind of feeling though that... You're being told to trust your intuition because it's almost kind of like you don't know if you don't know if history is going to repeat itself. You know, the the lovers. It, it, the lovers are almost kind of like, are we right for each other? In the reverse position, it's kind of like, are we well matched? Are we right for each other? Um there was a sense of disheart, you know, a sense of, of lack of harmony before or something really didn't work out before. And now all of a sudden they're back and it's kind of throwing me for six and I don't want history to repeat itself. So, you know, I really do listen to need to my listen to my intuition and see which way I go. I mean, the page of cups can be an offer of love. Um 
the possibility of something and it's to do with the heart heart energy um, but it, it feels in this situation it's throwing you off off balance uh, and it, it feels to do with some kind of relationship here that you're not sure if you're well matched and the message is you need to know if this is something that you can build on you need to know if this is something that you can trust and the message is that yes someone is coming in and there's potential for change here uh, a definite energy of this divine energy giving you answers knowledge guidance your intuition is very very strong right now and that's what the high priestess is telling you in terms of how you move forward I'm going to pull a card with this Four of Wands. Remember, it's the 1111 card, which is Angel Spirits Guides. People from the other side who you've lost to the other side sending you guidance, blessings, messages. You're being watched over. It can also be the Happy Home card. Celebratory energy, celebratory energy with, yeah. You'll find the answers from within. And again, trust your intuition. This is about finding answers from within, listening to your instinct. And again, I've got the four of wands to Scorpio. So <laughs> the hermit is a kind of alignment energy. You know, finding answers, knowledge, wisdom from within on how you need to take action in your external environment. What is your instinct telling you as well with the High Priestess? And the Four of Wands can be in terms of happy home. Um, this is a card of celebration. It's a card of um, joy as well. It's a card of harmony. It's also a card you're being watched over. So I definitely get this energy here, Scorpio. Someone's coming It feels like there is some kind of critical judgment to make and the message is trust your intuition What your knowledge wisdom from within is telling you? Um, to make some kind of critical judgment on whether you can trust what this person is telling you And either way then you'll know what to do, you know in terms of making that choice or decision in how you move forward because regardless of whichever way you go, the happy, the, the happy home card is available to you. It feels in this situation, you'll know what to do. What's going to bring you joy? What's going to bring you happiness? What's going to bring you stability and security? There is an opportunity here that somebody from the past, again, might be leading to this the happy home the celebration the joy but again only you can make that critical decision if you see that going your way it's almost kind of like there's some critical judgment a critical decision that you need to make on whether you trust this person or not okay final message for scorpio please final message for scorpio yeah we have changes can bring you new life and energy we will hold your hand number 25 isn't that lovely you're being guided in the right direction led in the right path again 11 11 is very very strong energy of divine guidance too so i i feel for some of you you're going to make the right decision for you but there's definitely somebody that you have history with coming back so I hope you enjoyed the reading Scorpio if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time thank you